Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at the direct integrations into the card system inside of Trello. If we go inside of one of our cards, we can actually attach files and documents directly from within certain applications. And if we click the attachment button, we'll see what those applications are. Now the first is actually Trello itself. So if we click Trello, you'll note that we can add a card or a board. If we add a card, we can click the card and you'll be able to see that card visually inside of the card area. And of course, that attachment is going to be clickable. We can add other Trello attachments. For example, we can add an entire board. And then that board will also be clickable inside of our card area. We can attach items from our computer, which we discussed in a previous video, as well as Google Drive. But there are three other applications that we can direct link to. One is Dropbox. And if we click Dropbox, you'll note that we have to sign in to Dropbox in order to get access to our document files. So once we direct connected to our Dropbox, we can then select the file that we want to work with. And in this case, we're going to work with this file and click choose. And then that's going to give us access to this document through Dropbox. Now there is no special functionality with this Dropbox document. It will give those who are going to be on our team access to be able to download this document by clicking this link. We can do the same thing with box.com. And once you're in box.com, you can have the same kind of connection. You can actually select the file that you want to give access to, and then you can click choose. That'll make that file available inside of Trello. You can do the same thing inside of Microsoft OneDrive. You can click attachment, and then click OneDrive and the links to those files will be added in this attachment area and directly downloadable from these links. Now to note, these are not the same as the power-ups, which give you more functionality, but they do give you direct access to your documents that you're storing on cloud storage. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.